forced induction engines. Run them hard and they get hot. Engines rely on cold air for peak performance, and with the Quartz Frost Intercooler by Awaken Performance, you'll never have to worry about cold air again. Wake up. When the turbocharger in your BMW takes in air, it compresses it, sending it at a higher volume into your engine. The problem is, that compressed air gets hot, and engines don't like hot. That is where intercoolers come in, and this Quartz Frost Intercooler by Awaken Performance will make that hot air a thing of the past. The hot air is forced into the inlet of the intercooler, and the heat is transferred to the many fins and plates on the intercooler, helping dissipate the heat and thus cooling down the air. The cooler air is then forced out of the outlet of the intercooler and into your engine. The Quartz Frost Intercooler by Awaken Performance is larger, allowing for 60% more airflow to your engine. It's also made out of aluminum, which is going to allow better heat distribution and durability over the factory plastic one found in your BMW. Now, despite the size difference, it's still plug and play and will fit under your factory bumper. And all this means cooler air going to your engine, which is going to lead to better performance and more horsepower. Of course, if you want all the facts and data, head on over to our website, link in the description. To get the most out of the intercooler, you might want to pair this with our Awaken Performance Tune. To learn more about the tune, click the link in the description. Enough talk, let's show you how to install this in our F30. Installation in your BMW may vary, but the principle will still be the same. If you don't feel comfortable installing this yourself, you could head on over to our website and find one of our certified installers near you. We have them in about 30 countries around the world. And hey, if you are in the Orlando, Florida area, we'll then stop on by and we can do it for you. Without further ado, Jarrett, take it away. Step one is to jack up your BMW. We have a full video on how to do this featuring this car, link in the description, but here are the basics. Always make sure your BMW is on a flat, hard surface. Engage your parking brake or emergency brake. It's also a good idea to shock your back wheels. Locate the front jack point on your BMW and begin jacking up your car. Once elevated, place your jack stands with appropriate jack pads under the jack points on your BMW. Do this on both sides. Slowly lower the jack so the car rests on the jack stands. Now to start under the car, we suggest you DIYers use rubber gloves and safety glasses when doing mechanical work. We need to remove the lower splash guard, which is secured by a multitude of 8mm bolts. Remove all of them. Be careful as it may come loose and drop down. It's light, but may catch you off guard. Now let's get the air box out of the way. Start by popping open the hood. With a flathead screwdriver, loosen this clamp. Pinch and pull this connector to remove it. Remove all of the latches holding the top half down and remove it.
Chaz, huh? could you ask Jarrett what's next? What's next? Oh, okay. For extra security, secure the end of this intake pipe. Jarrett decided to use a rubber glove. Move this out of the way like so. Use a Beamer Tech trim tool to pry this harness away from the fan. Pinch both sides of the connector and pull. Finally, locate and remove the two T27 screws holding the fan in place. Lift this unit up and set it aside to get it off the fan. With a screwdriver or trim tool, press down on this tab while applying upward tension on the fan to unlock it. Then with some wiggling and gentle persuasion, remove the fan. On the factory intercooler, pry up on this retaining tab to unlock it. Then slide the collar up. Do the same on the other side. Next, remove the two T27 screws on each side of the intercooler. Once they are both free, pull the factory intercooler out. Now grab the Awaken Performance Quartz Frost Intercooler. Cradle it like a baby. Have your coworker crash the shot. And when you're ready, remove the orange covers to prep for installation. Now the fun part, installation. This thing is a beast, so while it does fit, it's going to take some persuasion and wiggling. However, don't be discouraged. Articulate it so you get the hoses in place, and then keep working it into its final position. Once there, slide the collars down. And snap down the retaining tabs. Reinstall the factory T27 screws on each side and the installation is done.
time for reassembly. Work the fan back into place. Make sure it lands in the two tabs at the bottom of the intercooler. The side tab locked into place. And that it's secure at the top. Lift this unit up and slide the tab on the back back into place. And reinstall the T27 screw here. And here. Slide the connector back into place and secure the harness back into the fan. Secure this back into place as well. Slide the lower portion of the air box into place like so. Remove whatever you use to cover the intake pipe. Place the upper half back on and secure the latches and reconnect the connector you took out before. Don't forget to tighten the clamp. Slide back under the car one last time to reinstall the splash guard. Slide it in place and replace all of the 8mm bolts. Once you're done, place the jack back under the front jack point and lift the car off the jack stands. Slide the jacks out of the way on both sides and then carefully lower the car. Remove what you use to chalk the wheels. Close the hood. And you're done. And remember to get the best performance possible, pair this up with our Awakened Performance Tune. For more tips and tricks, product reviews, and so much more for BMWs, Minis, and Supras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. And hey, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok as well. Thanks for watching.